Friends and family are mourning the loss of an Appleton soldier killed in the line of duty. Good evening, I'm Laura Smith. And I'm Mark Leland. The Department of Defense announced this morning 22-year-old Matthew Hermanson died on Thursday after his unit was attacked in Afghanistan. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has the details. For the third time in just more than a month, a soldier with ties to Northeast Wisconsin has been killed in Afghanistan. 22-year-old Appleton native Matthew Hermanson died Thursday after enemy forces attacked his unit with small arms fire. It was uh, pretty devastating. Two military personnel came to our home. Don Younger is Hermanson's father-in-law. He heard the news with his daughter. When they said it, I'm, I'm standing there. And there really wasn't any emotion on me or Rachel. And she looked at me and, and she said, what? And uh, they repeated it. And uh, it didn't register with me either. As the service member shared more, it started to sink in. My daughter and son-in-law had only been ma married a really a short time. It would be a year on May 8th. And um, he was killed 10 days prior to that. Hermanson graduated from Appleton North in 2006. His father-in-law says he was an outdoorsman, enjoying hunting and fishing with his family up north. He also says he enjoyed the Army. Hermanson was stationed at Fort Polk, Louisiana. He left for Afghanistan in November. It was his second tour of duty, having already served 14 months in Iraq. He uh, kind of moved up in the ranks, so he, he did well that way. He was a, just a, a nice young man who... Uh, uh, had a lot of potential, cared for people, cared for his wife a great deal. In Appleton, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Another soldier from Jacksonville also died in the attack on Hermanson's unit. According to the Defense Department, 1,198 U.S. troops have been killed in action in Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom. Another 250 have died in non-hostile related incidents.